Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Our video today about abnormal vertebral bodies. Number one, limbus vertebra. A limbus vertebra is a well corticated, unfused secondary ossification center of the vertebral body, usually of its anterior superior corner, that occurs secondary to herniation of the nucleus bulbosus through the vertebral body in the blade beneath the ring apophysis. Number two, Herler syndrome. Herler syndrome is one of the mucopolysaccharidosis type one, in which there is anterior inferior vertebral body peaking, and thoracolumbar kyphosis or hypoplastic vertebra as the thoracolumbar junction results in gibbous deformity. Number three, Morocco syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive mucopolysaccharidosis type four in which there is anterior vertebral body weakening, hypoplasia of odontoid big, atlantoaxial subluxation, osotondodium, and round vertebral bodies. Number four, hemivertebra. It is a type of vertebral anomaly and results from a lack of formation of one half of a vertebral body. It is a common cause of congenital scoliosis. Number five, Shireman disease. It is also called juvenile kyphosis, juvenile discogenic disease, or vertebral epiphysites. It is a condition involving an abnormal excessive curvature of the spine. It involves both the vertebral bodies and discs of the spine, and is characterized by anterior wedging of greater than or equal to five degrees in three or more adjacent vertebral bodies number six sickle cell disease in which there is vertebral infarction which results in h-shaped vertebrae which results from microvascular interblade infarction tower vertebra vanishing vertebra and anterior vertebral vascular notches number seven Neurofibromatosis type 1, in which there is posterior vertebral scalloping and may be associated with neurolectasia or neurofibromas. Number 8. Osteoporosis, autosomal dominant, in which there is sclerotic, thick bone within bone appearance or sandwich vertebral body appearance. Number nine, hyperparathyroidism. Rogers spine describes as a prominent endoblade density at multiple contiguous vertebral levels to produce an alternating sclerotic leucine sclerotic appearance. This mimics the horizontal strips of Rogers jersey. Number ten, Bajet's disease. Picture frame vertebral body is a radiologic appearance in which the cortex of the vertebral body is second. It is a result of disorganized neocortical bone formation after excessive osteoclastic activity causes the resorption of the normal bone. Number 11. Hemangiomas. Vertebral hemangiomas are the most common benign vertebral neoplasms. They are usually asymptomatic and incidentally detected due to their characteristic features on imaging for other reasons. The classic cordori clause or jail bar appearance is strongly associated with vertebral hemangiomas. Axial CT will show a polka dotted or salt and paper appearance due to the second vertebral trabeculae. Number 12 Ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is the most common cause of vertebral body squaring. It usually involves multiple levels and typically begins in the lumbar spine. Vertebral body squaring occurs after the shiny corner sign, Romanus lesion, and precedes bamboo spine. Number 13. Ivory vertebra. The ivory vertebra refers to the diffuse and homogeneous increase in obesity 
of a vertebral body that otherwise retains its size and contours and with no change in the obesity and size of adjacent intervertebral discs. It can be seen in lymphoma, it is the most common cause and usually a Hodgkin lymphoma. Also seen in osteosarcoma, osteoblastoma, neuroblastoma, and medulloblastoma. Number 14. Sclerotic metastasis. Sclerotic bone metastasis typically present as radiodense bone lesions that are round or nodular with relatively well-defined margins. Number 15. Bone islands or endostosis. They are common benign sclerotic bone lesions that usually represent incidental findings. They constitute a small focus of compact bone within cancellous bone. Number 16. Vertebra plana. Vertebra plana, also known as the pancake or silver dollar or coin on edge vertebra. It is the term given when a vertebral body has lost almost its entire height anteriorly and posteriorly, representing a very advanced compression fracture. It can occur in trauma, osteoporosis, Langerhans cell histocytosis, osteogenesis imperfecta, leukemia, vertebral metastasis, multiple myeloma, and lymphoma. Number 17. Compression fracture. Vertebral fracture should be diagnosed when there is loss of height in the anterior, middle, or posterior dimension of the vertebral body that exceeds 20%. It occurs as a result of injury, commonly fall onto the buttocks or pressure from normal activities to the weakened vertebrae due to osteoporosis. Number 18. Schmorl nude. Schmorl nudes, also known as intravertebral disc herniations, refers to protrusions of the cartilage of the intervertebral disc through the vertebral body in the bleed and into the adjacent vertebra. The protrusions may contact the marrow of the vertebra, leading to inflammation. And the last one, 19. Osteoporosis Vertebral osteoporosis manifests as penciling of vertebrae, loss of cortical bone and trabecular bone, which is called the ghost vertebra, compression fractures and vertebra plana, prominent vertical trabeculae, with thinning of horizontal trabeculae in vertebral bodies.